juvenile. Austin Sig will also be charged with, as you just heard John Lieberman say, the attempted abduction of this 22-year-old woman who was jogging this past Memorial Day at a nearby lake. The woman told cops a man fitting his description grabbed her and tried to put a chemical-laced rag over her mouth. She escaped and she called 911. Another woman reports being attacked in the same area two years prior. She also got away. Now, one woman who was with her dog remembers seeing Austin Sig and being terrified by him on this same jogging trail at Kettner Lake. Here's what she immediately thought. Listen to this. It just hit me. It's like I almost fell over um, seeing his picture. It brought me back to seeing him here and just the thought of it being so close. And the jogger who bumped into Austin twice. Uh, Christy Mueller joins me now on the phone. Uh, Christy, first of all, uh, I saw you there with your dog. You had said that if you hadn't been there with your dog, you were afraid of what might have happened. Uh, tell us what you meant by that. Well, because there was there was him and two of his friends, so I was clearly outnumbered. And as I approached them, I always make eye contact and say hello. And when I when I said hello to them, they just stared at me and didn't say anything back, which I thought was kind of strange. So clearly, three of them against one of me could have been could have been really bad. <laughs> And as you see this horror unfold, and they say there is a DNA match between the attempted abduction of a woman on this jogging trail and Jessica's remains, and he's been tied, allegedly, to both of these cases, are you happy to be alive? I mean, are you thankful and, and thinking, oh, my gosh, it could have been me? Yeah, very much so. Once I Once I heard that there had been an arrest in the... Um, in her murder, and I saw his picture, like I said um, previously, I just about fell over. I started shaking because I realized, I realized I knew him, and I realized where I knew him from, and it was just such a close call. So very, very frightening, and I'm very thankful that, um, that he's where he needs to be right now. What was it about his expression, his eyes? What that made you so scared? You know, it's, um, I would say that the expression in his mugshot is what is what I remember because they've since released photos of him smiling and in other photos. That's not the guy that I saw. It was the guy in the mugshot. When I saw that face, it, I might not be the best with names, but it's hard to forget her face. And when I saw his face, I just, it just hit me. I just remembered instantly that I had seen him. There is something chilling about his eyes. Um, yeah. You can see the whites of his eyes under his uh, pupils, and there's something sort of, it, maybe I'm reading into it, but it does look sinister to me in light of everything. Yeah, and I, I don't I don't quite remember what his friends, I just remember him the most, because I remember him being a bigger guy, and he's the one that I made eye contact initially, so I just, his face is just, it,